Hello, Libra, and welcome to your Coffee Cup Week. This is, we get in, into uh, November. Can you believe that? We get in, into November. I don't know how the time of flight, but I, um, I, I turned the coffee upside down, the coffee cup, and I'm looking in here and I feel, I see you, your face was gloomy. It's like, you know, you have so much on your mind, so many things you want to do. And all of a sudden you, you are so overwhelmed with so much, but... But, I'm sorry, my nose itching. <laughs> but something happened. You have dolphins swimming around you. Dolphins. My gosh, I don't know what the, dolphin, the dolphins bring. They, they only come around good spirits, something good. So Libras, um, the dolphin in your uh, life, you know, they, they, you have dolphins swimming around you. Pay attention to that. You are too busy uh, watching or listening or getting involved with different things, you know? Yeah, you you have, take advantage of the dolphin, look up the, the spirit animal uh, for dolphin, How what it's saying to you. There is more into it than what I am just saying in here. Look into it. You standing up, you, you stood up between the dolphins and they just twirling around you. That is a beautiful. You, um, you looked into a uh, way out, but it didn't come right away, my friends. It didn't come right away because it is coming. It, it's it's. Um, you think that the road is really closed. You think that the road is shut down because it's so much happening, so much chaos, so much uh, draining. And but this is so beautiful because, really. You rised, you rised all of a sudden. It's not that you climbed little by little. It's like, man, you did something. You have those big eyes, big eyes, big dark eyes. It's like, wow, somebody is watching you, watching what you're doing all of a sudden. It's like you jumped, you just jumped and you stood above all the chaos. You jumped and stood above all the chaos in there. And you stood up like this, your heart chakra is, and, and, and your heart chakra is full. So think about anger, grief, resentment, Whatever it is, you need to let go of it. And finally, you come to a place where you're still standing on top of everything, but you let go of all this. It's like your whole body from here down, it got so big. It's like you got pregnant from your neck to your legs. Okay? You got so pregnant. It's standing above and seeing how beautiful it is to have a peace and calmness and purity and, and love and kindness. It, it is, it's making you, it's like it made, uh, it made you grow this big bubble around you. It's like you need to give birth. And you're looking down, you're looking down at a uh, at cliff and you've taken that, uh, you've taken that uh, energy that's really uh, stuck with your body and you, you, you're letting it all out. You're letting it all go, okay? You're letting it all go. And all of a sudden you're flat, you have nothing. You just let go of everything. This is happening, my friend, very soon. This is so beautiful. You're going to meet somebody. You're going to meet somebody. It's, it's like this person bringing something to you. This person is, uh, is, um, is bringing something beautiful in his hands, you know? bringing it to you and you standing up in appreciation. I love that. Let me tell you, I picked an animal for each, uh, an, a spirit animal for each uh, uh, 
each one of you, each sign, and you got the beaver. Careful building is the essence of the beaver. Beavers act with deliberate purpose, cutting down one tree at a time, removing each branch with a slow precision. Beavers are steadily productive and take one step at a time toward completion of the larger job at hand. By doing one thing at a time, they have faith in the completion of their task. They do not hurry and they know how to rest. I love that. So to the beaver, building and doing is all there is. As water rise and fall, we build and we rebuild. So the beaver come to you for a reason, my friend, for a big reason. Let me pick a card for you. Ooh, this card. I tried to shovel on top of the table, but they still decide to fall on the floor. I got two cards. I got two card fell, so I'm gonna I'm gonna read both of you for both of them for you. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. And the other one is the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. I love it. Huh? I love it. Anyway, you guys have a beautiful week. Stay healthy. Stay good to yourself. Love yourself. Hug yourself. And be kind to yourself. And set boundaries so nobody overstep your boundaries. 